So yesterday I put out my list of catalysts, and today I want to bring a little more substance to catalyst number one. The idea, well, let me just start by saying this. Hi, this is Randy Kirk. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be talking about ways that Tesla is going to make print even more money than you can possibly imagine. Uh, and I talked about all the catalysts yesterday. You can take a look at my video from yesterday where I talk about 16 different catalysts that I believe almost all of them will happen this year and will drive the stock higher. Uh, but the very first one, um, you know, people might have looked at it and gone, what are you talking about, Randy? We've never heard of this before. So we're going to get into it a little deeper with you right now. So I believe that Tesla is going to start mining lithium either from clay or possibly from salt water this year or next year as part of their project in Corpus Christi to refine lithium here in the United States. So um, that would be a, a pretty big breakthrough, right? If we were able to, and let's not talk about clay today. We're gonna to be talking only about salt water because I think people think, well, clay, that, that seems like it might only be a minute away, but salt water, who's even talking about it? Well, it turns out, I wouldn't have reported it yesterday if I hadn't read a couple of articles. That suggests that we might be really close. Certainly in that two year time frame when that new refining facility will be available. Now, whether Tesla has any rights or, or whether they're planning anything like this, whether their uh, scientists are doing their own thing and it doesn't have anything to do with these two people, um, either, both of these seem realistic. So let's talk about them and see what you think. So in this first article, we have a, a, a group here at the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, and they're working with industry to test an approach which uses magnetic particles to capture critical minerals such as lithium from various water sources. So just take a really quick look at this little uh, film they put together and you'll see what's going on here. Um, they are shaking up some brine so you see this dark brine material here. Now they're gonna take it and put it on a magnet and the magic happens very rapidly. The magnet pulls all the material to the bottom of the flask. So this is their basic concept. They're going to use magnets, spe specifically designed magnets. So let's uh, read a little bit more. Lithium is an essential ingredient. We know this in electric and uh, energy technologies, including lightweight lithium ion batteries that power everything from cell phones to electric vehicles. And then we go on. Um, their patent pending technology gives the U.S. an opportunity to produce more of its own lithium and other critical materials, but it also offers a much faster and less expensive way of doing it. They are, as you saw, uh, attracting these magnetic nanoparticles that are surrounded by an absorbent shell latches onto the lithium and other materials found in water associated with various industrial processes. So um, they could go to uh, geothermal plants where there's uh, uh, brines that have been produced in these geothermal situations. They can pull it from subsurface uh, oil and gas production but it can also be used from desalinization plants or even directly from seawater. Now, once they attract the, uh, the lithium, it's drawn out of the water and it binds to the magnets. With the help of the magnets, the nanoparticles can be collected in just minutes with the lithium hitching a ride, no longer suspended in the liquid and it's re ready for easy extraction. And after the lithium is extracted, the recharged nanoparticles can be used again. So this is a very fast, easy, and apparently inexpensive way to get lithium out of water, uh, out of, in this case, salt water or brine. If this technology were deployed at geothermal plants, the value of recovered lithium could potentially increase the cost effectiveness of this form of renewable energy, which uses water to capture the heat heat deep below the Earth's surface and then converts it into electricity. So you get the idea. This is a current potential method for getting lithium out of salt water that is in the process of being patented, which is potentially possible and which is apparently 
uh, realistic in terms of the costs associated with it. So that's one. Let's go on to the next one. So in this article, we have the Saudis. We have the, uh, the KAUST, KAUST startup, Litech, raises six million. All right. So not as this one is so far along that somebody looked at it and said they were willing to put up six million bucks to go with this method of extracting lithium from seawater. So King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, oh, that's the KAUST, on Wednesday announced that Madan, the Saudi Arabian mining country, and KAUST Innovation Ventures Fund are investing $6 million into this facility. Researchers at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, a private research university in Saudi Arabia, have developed what they believe is an economically viable to extract the lithium from seawater and other uh, and other metals as well, but in particular, high purity lithium. Apparently, there's been previous efforts to tease lithium from uh, salt water and not just lithium, but other metals, and it didn't get a very high yield. So these guys came up with a new method. In this particular method, the scientists explained that the membrane's crystal structure contains holes. They create a membrane, and this has holes that are just wide enough to let lithium ions pass through while blocking larger metal ions. The cell itself, on the other hand, contains three compartments. Seawater flows into the central feed chamber where positive lithium ions pass through the LLTO membrane into a side compartment that contains a buffer solution and a copper cathode coated with platinum and ruthenium. <laughs> Maybe I pronounced that right. At the same time, negative ions exit the feed chamber through a standard anion, anion exchange membrane, passing into a third compartment containing a sodium chloride solution and a platinum ruthenium anode. There you go. Now, if you understood what I just said, great. Uh, but, you know, I didn't, but I understand the concept. It's the a membrane that is allowing this material uh, to allowing the salt water to pass through, and it's only collecting at the end of the day what is needed, uh, in, in this case, lithium. It has to it requires a voltage to be applied, and they're saying that this uh, the electrical voltage that is required, only $5 of electricity to extract one kilogram of lithium. So now what other possibilities exist here? If you read the whole article, you can see that number one, you could be desalinating the water, desalinating the water at the same time that you're extracting this lithium. So you could get a double win. This would be great for California. So number two, which is something I talked about months ago, and some some folks said I was crazy. You're already desalinating the water, and you end up with this brine. So why wouldn't the brine therefore be a, a potential place to go for lithium? In this particular case, you're doing it all at once. How much better is that? And you're doing it for $5 of electricity to get one kilogram of lithium. But then if you add solar and battery, now you're extracting the lithium for basically no cost of electricity. So this would have to be an extremely powerful way to get lithium out of salt water. Um, I don't know. This is just a concept. Why did they put the plant in Corpus Christi uh, to do the refining? I thought they put it in Corpus Christi, and they probably did because it's a uh, they have a port there, and these lithium-laden uh, boats could ships could come in here, dump it off, and then they could process it. But why bring the lithium from halfway around the world, uh, from South America and from Australia, if you can mine it out of the water uh, in the uh, Caribbean? <laughs> so. This is a concept. I hope you enjoyed this material. If you did, please like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And uh, hey, it's been great talking to you. Click the link below to get your paperback, Kindle or audiobook now.